Yeah, look at my awesome car go around the wall. Yeah! <laughs> I'm unstoppable, baby! Can't stop me, guys! My car's indestructible! I'm gonna run you guys over! Like you're nothing! <laughs> Okay, hello everybody, this is Juggernaut Pictures, and welcome to another Batman Arkham Knight episode. This time, covering the special abilities of my car. Yeah, look at this thing. The Batmobile. It looks like a very fancy race car or something. But I'm surprised that it can't even go up to 200 miles per hour, given the, given the fact that... It looks like a race car, but anyway, yeah, here it is, the Batmobile, the most ascent, one of the most essential pieces of armory in the in the game. You can smash cars, you can blow up stuff. No, not really blow up stuff. You can just like make cars explode. Hold on, I need to take care of these guys first. That's right. Don't mess with me and Batmobile. As I was saying, this car has many special talents that you can use out in the field. It it has built-in machine guns, cannons, it can ram into cars, it can damage cars, it can has an afterburner on it, make you feel like you're flying in a jet but on the ground, and it's freaking awesome. This car can definitely destroy up to like a hundred cars if I wanted to. But anyway, let's get into it. So anyway, yeah, the Batmobile. It's your personal transportation unit in the game. It's the only car you can really drive, but why would you want to drive any other car? Because this car is like the superior car in the game. But yeah, the uses of the Batmobile is that, first of all, it's like one of the fastest cars you can ever drive. I mean, look at this. It has an afterburner on it. You can travel straight through Gotham like in two minutes with just a freaking afterburner. You can even ram into cars. Look at this. This car is like loaded with freaking armor. So like nothing in Gotham can stop you when you're in the car. Except for the drones, which I'm about to show you later in the video. But anyway, this is pursuit mode. Basically in this mode you can... You can travel around Gotham using a regular driving mechanic. And it's very simple to steer because the because the Batmobile has wheels that rotate on pivots. Look, see? See, look. It's so easy to turn around. All you have to do is move like that. You don't have to, like, drive a certain distance and then turn around like this. No, you can just turn around on a pivot. It's so much, it's so easy to navigate with this car given the fact that it has high maneuverability and it can, we has wheels that can rotate on pivots. Yeah. When you're in pursuit mode, when you're trying to like ram enemies, it has afterburners built on the sides of the car too so that like you can, um, <clears throat> do a side slash if you wanted to. Like, for example, watch this. You use the afterburner. To like ram enemies sideways instead of instead of instead of straight in front of you. Watch, see. Woo! But yeah, these afterburners are extreme. Are very helpful when you're in pursuit mode and you're chasing after bad guys that are wandering around the city. Especially high-value targets. Also in pursuit mode, you can fire a freaking missile. How cool is that? It's like this tank is has the abilities of a freaking jet fighter. Also, when you're driving, you can do a power slide. Watch. Very simple to drive this when you're in pursuit mode. Easy to turn, easy to steer. It's a very highly re reliable vehicle. Uh, 
Alright, let's see. To give you an example of the pursuit mode, I'm gonna pursue like a an enemy vehicle. Alright. I'm gonna skip right to the to the to the pursuit. Yep, this is the very last APC of it. And after that, I will have defeated all of the Arkham Knights lieutenants that are scattered throughout the city and turn them into the police. Alright, everybody, here we go. This is perfect. Alright, let's go! Okay, man, against the law, I hereby turn you in! All right, everybody. See this? Those those lines are indicate that that the line of fire. And once they're once they turn red, there it is most likely that they're gonna fire at you and possibly destroy you. So be careful and try and evade them. Oh yeah. This might take a little while, so if it drags on, I'm gonna have to just like skip to the skip to the action moments. Okay, that's another one down. Crap, he's getting away. Come on, go! Oh wait, there's actually a lot of them. Okay, he's off-road. Nice job! Okay, that's it. He's completely vulnerable now. He's and the thing I don't get is why an APC can outrun like a freaking tank with an afterburner. It doesn't make sense. Chasing him through the tunnel like a fast and fear like the fast and furious guys do. Right, Please tell me that's the last one. Is there still another guy following me? No, I hope not. I just hope it's me and him now. Yep, he's 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 alone. Here we go. Time to finish him off. Target sighted. See, he's outrunning me. I gotta. I mean, APCs aren't even supposed to go that fast. No, you're not too good for me. I'm better than you in every way, and you know that. You're not wearing a freaking bat suit, and you don't, and you're not filthy rich like me, and you don't have awesome gear like me. So, no, you're inferior, dude. I'm getting like very close to you. There's a lot of arrogance when it and from the villains. They're not really bright. No, they're don't. All right. Okay, I think I almost da completely destroyed him. on him. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Alfred, the last APC is gone. I'm picking up scattered comms. It's just as we thought the militia are in disarray. Well done, sir. Darling effort. Well, thank you. I worked really hard to 
to liberate my city and protect it from from evildoers. All right, everybody. That is how pursuit mode works. All right, everybody. We are almost done with this episode. I just need to show you one more thing before I before I say goodbye and I mean, I'm not All right. So, I want to show you guys how Oh wait. Sir, you've wiped out the militia's troop transports and the senior commanders ensconced in them. I expect militia morale is plummeting as we speak. Yeah, no more APCs around the city. I still got a lot of work to do, though. All right, I want to show you guys the combat mode and how that works in the game. So, bef so I better do a mission like a mission like one of a bomb missions because in this game you fight a large amount of of like drones that that are in the form of a tank so yeah when you're fighting these drones it is crucial that you take advantage of your of your heavy duty cannon mounted on your mounted on your batmobile i won't let them threaten this city all right see see how there's a massive gun planted on a tank and see how like it's so much like a tank because the the cannon is turning like the normal tank would. Watch this. Alright. See, it has a machine gun on it. It has a very powerful cannon on it, but it's... But the thing is that these things are non-lethal. And so you can't cause, like, huge explosions with these projectiles that, are, that you fire from your cannon. They just do mild damage. Okay, I better hurry up. Just watch and learn. talk and point out the strategies to beat the drones. Basically what you want to do is that, like I said before, you gotta avoid their line of fire. You have to shoot down incoming missiles and target their weak spots, which, and use, and use advantage of like your multiple heat seeking missiles and other um, special, special features on the tank, such as the EMP, the rem which disables all of the drone system um, functionality it has a very advanced targeting system which would be the multiple missiles I just fired you can hack the drones and, tempor and temporarily have them support you see look Okay, this is your Vulcan gun. It's not very effective against the tanks, but you can use it to shoot down incoming missiles. That's what they're primarily used for, this gun right here. Their weak spot is right there, like just on top of the rotating gun. I mean, just below it. Okay, time to hack another one. Get more, get more drones to help me. And I strongly advise that you take out the missile launchers because they can cause significant damage to you other than the normal projectiles fired by the by the standard tanks. Oh yeah, also to avoid their line of fire faster, take advantage of the thrusters mounted on all sides. Forward, backward, side to side, yeah. This is the last drone. Payload is exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. Assuredly done, sir, as ever. All right, everybody. I'll fight Batman when the time comes. Dude, 
keep saying that, and you're, and still you, you never live up to your, to your claims. All right, all right, everybody. I've shown you. Shut up, guys. Really. All right. Never mind. Just I'm just gonna ignore those speak, the, like the chatter on the radio. Okay, guys. That. I'm going to say a few more things about the Batmobile. It has a forensic scanner on it, which can be used to um, track down, to track drones behind objects that obscure the view of the drones. And you can... And that's about it. That's the only function for this thing. It also has a power winch that you can hook on to... Hook on to, to like, suspend yourself from buildings or any other uh, um, vertical surface. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys want to see more comedic gaming videos or just regular playthroughs, please subscribe today. In the next episode, I'm going to be covering the stealth mechanics in the game and how bat and how they're extremely advantageous to Batman. And I'm also going to show you how to use certain gadgets during in stealth gameplay. So, thank you everybody for watching, and this is Juggernaut Pictures signing off. Now I'm going to go and enjoy my my baby, which is the Batmobile, and drive like mad! Let's go! Woohoo! Watch the previous video by clicking on the video link above.